Hi, welcome to the Productive Lab. So today's chapter is showing, or uh, today's video is showing for the troubleshooting. For basically, if we have uh, troubleshooting, or you can say this is the networking hack of the infrastructure. It's uh, in, it's any uh, been, it's related to any kind of you know the infrastructure related any domain like uh, your you are network engineer or your cyber security engineer first you need to understand about the uh, infrastructure so bef before we start the infrastructure or if we start the infrastructure so what we have to need to understand so first we need to understand about the zone okay zone is required how many zone is there so uh, in that case there is uh, if I say there is a uh, few type of zones like um, internal zone okay internal so next is uh, your DMZ and there is outside okay there is a three zones we have to see in the infrastructure but in that case but as a infrastructure so if we have the dmz zone okay dmz zone so dmz zone goes to internal so this is uh, this is not natural okay it is required to the manual access over the firewall level okay but internal goes to dmz so that is okay that's not a problem but internal goes to outside if we go to the uh, outside okay so this is not quite natural as well as outside to internal this is not quite actually natural okay so we have required for the both uh, is required for the firewall level access firewall level or any security level access is required okay so now if we go the that part okay so in that case uh, if you have a router there okay router one that is connected to isp and this is connected one firewall and this is connected to it to the core switch cs and there is one server is there there is one server another server server one and server two there is another server this is server three okay so what in, uh, in this uh, topology what is the functionality of these things we need to understand the functionality is router is the perimeter router is this router is called perimeter router okay perimeter router and that one is called perimeter firewall and that's called is called core switch okay clear yeah. so now router if i go to the router okay and in between perimeter router is always connected to the isp you can manipulate your traffic your firewall is manipulated your traffic means there is a manipulative access is a l3 l4 level okay and this course is maintain your internal network okay this is a basic architecture so now i am draw a bit of the advanced level architecture like uh, this is my isp internet service provider there is a connected to router okay router one and router two this both are connected this is my core switch okay just look at these things and this is my connected firewall this is my two servers server one server two and there is my other core switch cs1 and cs2 there is also connected to these things and also connected to the firewall and both the core switches connected to each other's there is another server three and this is another connected server four 
okay this is the bit of the complex architecture this is the basic architecture of the infrastructure level so what is happened in that case so firewall so first traffic is coming from the isp in router 1 or router 2 okay next is coming to the core switch core switch decided this firewall inspect the traffic then return traffic goes to the core switch core switch decided date to the which traffic is near required for the access okay again in vice versa suppose server one goes to the core switch core switch goes to the firewall firewall redirect, redirect to the traffic core switch then core switch goes to go to the router one then it will go to the isp so now this is the call to the active uh, standby if i say active standby okay this is the active router this is a standby router if router one goes down so this traffic move to the router two and goes to the isp okay same thing in cs2 and cs1 there is a two protocol is working in switch level which is called hsrp or vrrp I will tell you the later about these things. This is the CCNS CMP class. If you require these things, so please come, please reach out to me. My email ID is support at or my phone number is 974 656 Cool. And this is the firewall level. Okay, this firewall means this is the inspection, this traffic. This is the advanced level architecture. Now, if uh, I do the troubleshooter need to understand how does traffic flow. So suppose this is my ISP and this is connected to a router and this is connected to one switch and this is connected to sorry in between there is a firewall okay there is a firewall okay and this is switch and switch connected to one server someone is reported this server is not able to reach to the isp okay not able to reach so how to troubleshoot few steps first what is the source and destination need to understand second is what is the connected device device for source number three if someone reported you to the source and destination is not reachable need to understand share the trace route trace route okay and number four share the ping status okay so this four requirement is the more important okay so this is the first question you need to ask to client this is number three you need to ask the client right this question also need to ask the client but this is this second question you need to understand from your uh, skill okay this servos this server connected to the this server that means this switch SW. So this switch you need to understand which which port is connected. Okay, suppose it is connected ETH one bar one. So what is the configuration? First need to understand what is the configuration. Okay, next switch level we need to understand these two things. Okay, next we need to understand what is the VLAN. Okay, next and this one is the VLAN. So all things are correct. Next, I go to the your firewall level. Okay. So firewall level need to check the logs. Log need to be checked in the firewall level. Okay. Next, I will be see the router level. Okay. If it is going to the outside, so that means we have required for the public IP address. If public IP address is there, so that means we have required for the NAT. NATing. 
netting is correct routing is correct okay firewall level accept log that means accept log okay firewall level is accept log so that means this is traffic is passing by this firewall there is no issue switch is all the configuration is okay server level is traffic is going to the uh, your default gateway also is correct okay so now we have to check the your layer 7 level troubleshoot this is a completely your troubleshoot is l3 and l4 level okay this is the infrastructure hacking part okay so this is a traffic flow completely need to clearly these things came what is the vlan okay vlan that mean what is the vlan configuration for for, for this particular port okay what is the the configuration of internet suppose if you this uh, switch uh, this port is configured is that uh, as an example uh, i'm taking one example if this server just list assume this server one connected one switch okay one switch l2 switch okay and this port is eth number one okay and this connected in router this is router on stick now router on stick if you need to understand more detail so you reach out to this number again i told you okay not an issue so router on stick okay this communication is basically trunk well so this is the access this is a trunk port okay this is a trunk port and this port should be happen is the access port okay access port okay but there is configuration suppose router this port configuration is eth uh, one but two okay main port is connected to this switch okay so now this router on stick what happened eth one bar two dot vlan is three i already told you vlan three give it to the ip address but this access port vlan is like two suppose configuration so this is a complete breakdown will be happy okay so this is a gateway over this this logical path has been created from this is router to your uh, server logical path so we need to check from this show art so most important show art so basic components for the art basically if you have a address add address resolution protocol resolution protocol means address resolution protocol address resolution resolution protocol means so if you have a one ip address okay so this ip address bind with the mac okay bind with the mac so this is the fundamental things so this is a connected to the gateway this need to understand then we can understand the configuration about the access port this is the access port is happened properly or not this villain is supposed configured is two that not be communicated to each other because this is the already created old, uh, on but two dot three and so you need to change for this three then it should be communicated so this is the procedure about the uh, about these things okay is a troubleshooting purpose and if you have in between on firewalls okay what will be checked for this if you have a if you have a firewall okay so this just a minute yeah okay if you have a firewall so in that case if you have a firewall is there firewall rule is suppose source as 10.133.1.1 destination is um 10.144.2.1 and this is a destination and this is going service is 22 that means ssh okay so now in, in this rule is exist okay services exist okay but there is nothing communications happen in the log you said reject or deny okay reject or deny so in that case we have to uh, create the rules for the source to destination and service then it can be allowed okay somehow this is one um, uh, very interesting thing okay if your router is there your server is there okay there is one firewall is there just logical part i have to build server can to the firewall firewall can to the router 
cyber has another interface there is connected with switch okay and there is connected one router okay and goes to the another things okay it goes to the mpls just list as mpls okay but this traffic is coming from this but response from this okay this is called asymmetric routing asymmetric routing okay symmetric routing means is coming from this path and going to the same path that's called symmetric asymmetric means coming from this path going to the another path okay so asymmetric routing when is created asymmetric routing you don't see it's, uh, this is the source and destination since all are available in the firewall level but you don't see the logs okay but you can you, you just see the logs is accepted okay but you don't that when you don't understand why this is not access so if you go to the packet capture okay if you do the packet capture so what will be happen if you do the packet capture so that time you could see the you return traffic that means you know the tcp session okay tcp session i have read it or if you do not read it so please uh, check my videos you can see those things or you can reach out to me so tcp session three-way handshake okay three-way handshake is there so uh, three way handshake case okay three way handshake thing uh, happened so in that case source is there destination is there in between firewall and router okay if pass packet goes to the scene cnac will be not responsive that means this is source and this is the destination in that case source sync is will go there sin but cnac will be not responded so packet capture is there required for it so this is the thing and this is a troubleshooting part okay we need to understand about this how to do it okay so now <clears throat> okay so in that case if you have a now if you have a drawing and one architecture so like uh, if you have a one isp connected to router router one and router two router one and router two connected a uh, one core switch cs okay core switch so there is one server there is another server server four and server five and there is two server server one server two okay and there is a server and there is a firewall okay one firewall so firewall decided firewall decided there is a one logical interface that means one single physical interface is connected but in that case they have created three logical interface why because for this is for the dmz zone mention this is for internal zone mention and this is for the your outside zone that means internet traffic so firewall logical zone has been created this that means this core switch these two interface has been access port this is also same as access port but these three links has been from port okay this is the earlier days that mean if you say five to ten years twelve years ago this type of things has happened but now there is most things that they are doing in the recent data center there is router router one r1 r2 connected to their firewall okay firewall connected to one l3 switch l3 switch is different what is the l3 switch this is the l2 functionality is the as well as your l2 functionality is there okay another l3 switch is there okay and there is connected another l3 switch that is connected to f5 that means load balancer or you can say adc application delivery controller okay there is one server one okay this is called dmz and this is the uc l3 switch connected to one other server this is called to be internal so completely these things managed by this firewall in centralized system okay so this is the define and you can check the logs and all those things this is the most uh, that been more detailed in your architecture now as of now in data center 
okay so it is this chapter is literally showing as the completely showing in the what is the architecture hacking or infrastructure hacking or troubleshooting or information this information might be helpful for your uh, live environment or day-to-day -day activity how does it troubleshooting options how to do it so this type of things you can understand about it well so <clears throat> I now more deep down is there now multiple device if you say talking about to any kind of uh, multiple devices you know introduced in our environment just routing level if you say routing level maximum they are using the Cisco okay in uh, uh, internal segment that means if you were data center okay center the data center part data center routing level switch is basically SWIT CH switch is Cisco okay maximum places maximum data center they are using Cisco switches and firewall maximum they are using nowadays firewall to 40 gate okay checkpoint checkpoint okay and adc level they can be see like um, uh, f5 net scalar okay and one more thing in that case firewall has two part one for the perimeter firewall as you know perimeter firewall another is core firewall crfw so perimeter firewall has VPN access, okay, VPN access. Why for the, there is, why VPN is access is required. As you see, there is a two multiple sites, okay, just like there is a one site, site A, and there is a site B. Okay, see so in that case, they have to communicate over the MPLS, okay, or VPN, okay. I just give you the short brief about the VPN. Very short brief. VPN full form is virtual private network. Okay, virtual private network means site A to site B communicate to site A to site B communicate over the VPN means they have encrypted this traffic the encrypted traffic to the site B okay there is a first we have required for the reachability both the site site A and site B then we have to encrypt it, this link okay so there is basically two phase and all those things is there but if you require the more detail again you can reach out to me but this is a site to site VPN is required both the communications another site of VPN which is just give you again short brief which is called if you have a office location this is your office and multiple application is there like uh, x application y application z application a application b application okay c application during covid time okay during covid time maximum people knows this office connected to the your home okay you are in home okay you are in home okay so they have to connected over the internet multiple ISPs they are in your home lab that in your home they connected to over the VPN okay this is called client VPN okay. VPN and previous things we have discussed the two sides this is called side to side VPN okay so this is the thing this is the basic architecture about that part okay it's so in that understand more detail VPN access port switch routing so before we go through these things just for knowledge how does infrastructure works how it is looking like the infrastructure so this is helpful for you really uh, literally it's helpful for infrastructure level in your production environment so I recommend it to you if you require the more detail please reach out to me I will help you definitely so about these more things more exposure.